Hi everybody. In this video, we will talk about the dynamics behind the March and April 2020 heat wave in India that is still going on. Uh, since the mid of March, India has been reeling under a heat wave for almost a month now. So our team at Weathercast decided to analyze the situation and explain the dynamics behind the heat wave that is ongoing. In one word, we would like to attribute this ongoing heat wave to something known as the Arctic Oscillation. So before we get into the details, what is Arctic Oscillation? It is a change in the pressure patterns near the Arctic in the Northern Hemisphere. It has a positive and a negative phase. So during the positive phase of the Arctic Oscillation, a low pressure is uh, seen near the Arctic region. Due to the low pressure near the Arctic region, the cold air is able to stay near the polar region, thereby the jet stream is able to move smoothly without any undulation, so the jet, jet, jet stream is highly stable. On the other hand, in the negative phase, a high pressure zone exists over the polar region near the Arctic. So because of that, the cold air and the warm air are able to move up and down. So the cold air is able to come down. And that results in an undulating jet stream. So jet stream becomes highly unstable, thereby resulting in pockets of cold and warm parcels. So during the negative phase, as you can see, there is a departure in the, this is the difference in the average pressure. So departure in the pressure is positive, which means high pressure. Whereas in the positive phase, departure is negative, so it means low pressure. So basically, the Arctic Oscillation affects the movement of the jet stream, and which is very important during the December to April months, because the jet stream is the one that regulates the temperature, especially for uh, uh, the Asian subcontinent during this time. Now let us probe into a little bit of more physics, what happens during the phases of the north Arctic Oscillation. So as you can see during the negative phase, there is a high pressure sitting near Arctic. So there is a lot of warming going on there. And because of that warming, the temperatures near the European regions show an increase. Whereas in the positive phase, the Arctic region is cooler and so is the European region and also the Asian region, which is also seen in this figure where in the positive phase you have storms, the jet, 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 jet stream is very stable, so you have a warm and wet climate near the Eurasian region, especially near the Ukraine region, whereas during the negative phase you have a colder uh, air near the Ukrainian region, which is very important for the jet streams to move to India because when it is warm, this deflects the jet stream down to Indian uh, latitude whereas when it is cold, it is not able to deflect it towards Indian latitude. So this is what results in a um, warming or cooling patterns over India. So let us see how the Arctic Oscillation has affected the Indian um, uh, heat wave. So these are the surface air anomaly charts starting from December all the way till March. And I would like to focus near the Ukrainian region right here. And like I said, during the positive phase, it's warm and whereas during the negative phase it is cold. That's exactly what you see. During the, during the positive phase there is warm air, which sustains in January and also in February, and there is a cooler air near the Arctic region, which is also seen here. But come to March and also the April month, which we are into right now, you can see that there is a drastic change in the temperature uh, anomalies. You can see a colder anomaly, whereas a hotter anomaly is seen in the Arctic region, which means that the Arctic Oscillation has changed its phase from positive to negative and that has allowed, that has not allowed the jet stream to move down to Indian latitude and simply allow the colder air to stay near the Ukrainian region and warm air to come down towards the Indian region and that's the reason for the heat wave because of the shift in the Arctic Oscillation from positive to negative which is very very clearly seen from the December till March charts. The Arctic os oscillation was positive until February, 
and due to which the jet stream was very stable and was allowing the western disturbances to reach india however after the change happened then in march we didn't have many uh, western disturbances the last western disturbance in march was around uh, march 11th but after that for a period of one month we have had no western disturbance which is attributed to the negative phase of the arctic oscillation and i can also sh show you confirm that so there is so since january there was a positive phase which was persisting and since march 15th as you can see we have been in the negative phase of the arctic oscillation and you can also see that in this 20th march uh, figure you can see that there is a high pressure near arctic and that clearly says that it's a negative phase uh, so that's why that is the reason why we had a heat wave in india because the cooler air was not able to penetrate down south and the only thing we had was an anticyclone setting throughout uh, northern and central india which was simply bringing in hot air so what to expect moving forward so as you can see from the forecast gfs forecast ensembles you can see that there is a possibility that after march 15th the arctic oscillation will move slightly to a positive phase but or a neutral phase zero is a neutral phase but nevertheless there is going to be slight reduction in the negative phase which may bring little bit of respite however all depends on the arctic oscillation in our opinion if it returns to a weakly positive phase then normal temperatures are likely to prevail so we will not have very high departures but still normal summer which itself is quite high for india <clears throat> however since this arctic oscillation in april is still going to be slightly neutral or towards a negative anomaly april is likely to see some above normal temperatures because there is still negative phase seen in the arctic oscillation however if the arctic oscillation becomes positive let's say by april 20th or towards the end of april then state stays in that phase then we will see western disturbances hitting north northwest india and also parts of central india however given that model divergence the confidence in that is quite low and we are only 50% confident that we will see western disturbances maybe moderate or strong uh, western disturbances by end of april or starting of may for now we are not committing to anything except that it is going to be another abnormal month where we are still going to see slightly above normal temperatures but there will be a little, little bit of respite because the arctic oscillation is slightly moving towards a neutral phase so we will not have very extreme heat wave we will have slightly above normal temperatures and most likely deficit in rains is going to continue for central north and northwest india however come Ma may things may change uh, where the temperatures may slightly reduce to normal uh, values and also there will be western disturbances which will allow the um, the rains or thunderstorms to persist in north northwest and parts of central india so we need to keep a watch on the arctic uh, oscillation evolution is what we feel so thank you for watching this video if you need more information please contact us in available services um, we provide regional local and hyperlocal weather and climate services for various businesses and organizations you can reach us at any of these email addresses and also visit our website thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel have a good day